My name is Link Strait. I'm the Chief of Police for the Arvada Police Department. I want to share some of the facts as they relate to the terrible tragedy on Monday, June 21st in our community. Being respectful of the ongoing investigation, I feel transparency with our community is critically important. We lost two heroes on June 21st, and we need to respect their memories and their loved ones. Officer Beasley was responding to a call in the area of Old Town, Arvada, and within seconds, he was brutally ambushed and murdered by someone who expressed hatred for police officers. The threat to our officers and our community was stopped by a hero named Johnny Hurley. Johnny's actions can only be described as decisive, courageous, and effective in stopping for their loss of life. What happened next is equally tragic. A responding Arvada officer encountered Mr. Hurley, who was holding a rifle, and our officer shot him. Our police department and community's view of Mr. Hurley and his actions are heroic. It is clear that Mr. Hurley intervened in an active shooting that unfolded quickly in a busy commercial area in the middle of the day, and he did so without hesitation. Mr. Hurley's actions save others from serious injury or death. We will make clear the basic information of this case, and we will be sharing a video of the tragedy following my statement. Be warned, the video is difficult to watch. On Monday, June 21st, 2021, at 1.17 p.m., the Jefferson County Communications Center received a report of a suspicious person in the Old Town Arvada Square, located at 57th Avenue and Old Wadsworth Boulevard. The reporting person was a teenager who reported that an older male party walked up to them, made a weird noise, and showed them a condom. Officer Gordon Beasley was working patrol. He was dispatched to a suspicious person incident at 1.30 p.m. Officer Beasley was then on scene at 1.31 p.m. He parked his car on Webster Street and walked through an alley towards Old Town Square. As Officer Beasley walked westbound through the alleyway toward the square, the suspect pulled into an area behind him and parked his truck. The suspect exited his vehicle with a shotgun and proceeded to run towards Officer Beasley from behind. The suspect yelled at Officer Beasley, at which time Officer Beasley stopped, turned, and was immediately shot twice by the suspect. Officer Beasley did not reach for his gun and did not take a defensive position. He simply turned toward the suspect and was shot. The suspect then proceeded to shoot out windows of patrol cars parked in the area nearby and fired shots into the air as well. The suspect then returned to his vehicle and exchanged guns. He then went back towards the square. Mr. Hurley then confronted the suspect and shot him with a handgun. Almost immediately thereafter, an Arvada police officer arrived and encountered Mr. Hurley, who was now holding the suspect's AR-15. The Arvada police department officer shot him. It is clear the suspect harbored great animosity towards the Arvada Police Department. This is an unbelievable tragedy that should have never happened. Gordon was a friend, a brother, a partner, and part of us. He will be immensely missed, but never forgotten. Mr. Hurley is a hero. He undoubtedly saved many lives on Monday afternoon. Due to the critical incident team investigation, we will not be able to provide any additional information or details on this incident. We want to thank the Arvada community for its support and all of the efforts by Arvada's law enforcement partners from around the region during this unspeakable tragedy.